I started Chocolate Cocaine to highlight amazing Black women who broke barriers and made their mark in history on an erotic or sexual level. This week, Chocolate Cocaine presents Esther Baby Jones, the original Betty Boop. Baby was a Black entertainer in the late 1920s who performed regularly at the Cotton Club in Harlem. She began her career as a child star in Chicago and was managed by her parents. Known for her baby-like voice, she was a trained scat singer, dancer, and acrobat performer. After touring Europe and upon her return to the United States, Baby toured with Cab Calloway and his orchestra. During Baby's time at the Cotton Club, Helen Kane saw her performance, and a few weeks later, she began to imitate the infamous boop sound Baby used in her act. A photo of Helen was used in a 1932 issue of Playboy magazine as a comparison to the cartoon Betty Boop. Helen said the photo was used without her consent or compensation. Helen then sued Max Flesher, the creator of Betty Boop, for $250,000 for infringement. During the trial, Max found a 1928 sound film of Baby's performance, the only evidence available since Baby had died prior to the trial in 1934. With the new evidence, the defense team could say Max did not infringe upon Helen because she was the one who infringed upon Baby. Once that trial ended, Baby got the credit she deserved. Some still say Helen was the reason behind Betty Boop, while others try to give credit to another actress, Claire Bow. Check out chocolate-cocaine.com for more about Baby. Chocolate Cocaine presents to you Esther Baby Jones, the original Betty Boop.